Well, WBZ is proud to say we're the only station in Boston with a doctor on staff who can answer your questions. That doctor is Dr. Malika Marshall. She joins us live right now. And Dr. Malika, a lot of questions, of course, about the vaccines. It is the topic of the moment. Chris writes in saying, after testing positive for COVID, how long does it take for a test to turn negative? Someone said that antibodies will stay positive for the next 90 days. So, you know, someone who's been positive for COVID actually can have a positive nasal PCR test for several weeks, even after they're feeling better. But that blood antibody test could stay positive for months. And that's because it's an indication that you've been infected before, but it doesn't really mean that you can't get infected again or that you can't uh, pass it on to someone else. So you just... Uh, that test can stay a lot, stay positive a lot longer than the PCR test. All right, let's get to our first vaccine question. Paulette writes, I have had severe medication allergies most of my life. Do you think that prednisone and Benadryl will prevent an allergic reaction from the vaccine? Well, let me first say that, you know, now that we've vaccinated millions of Americans, we can say that severe allergic reactions to the vaccines that are out there now are exceptionally rare. Now, if you have had a reaction, a severe reaction to another vaccine, let your doctor know, let them know at the vaccination site because it means that they will monitor you more closely. If you're on daily allergy medication, you don't need to stop it, but you also don't need to pre-medicate with Benadryl or with prednisone before you get your vaccine. So don't premedicate for that. Okay, thank you, doctor. And Michael writes in saying, I'm 63 years old and I tested positive for COVID-19. I am completely symptom free and I'm out of isolation, so that's good for him. But he asked, do I need to get a vaccine since I have antibodies? Yes, you do. Because again, even though you may have antibodies, it doesn't mean that you might not get infected again. We know that there are all these different variants that are popping up. And so that might put you at higher risk of getting the coronavirus again. So we definitely recommend that people who've had COVID recover fully before they go to get vaccinated and not wait more than 90 days after their original infection. All right, and this I thought was a good question. Bonnie asking on Facebook, Lawrence General, she says, is scheduling second vaccine doses just 17 days after the initial dose. It was her understanding that it should be 21 days, and she wants to know if that's acceptable. So based on your question, it sounds like they're administering the Pfizer vaccine, which is typically given 21 days apart. However, according to the CDC, there is a four day grace period where it can be given four days earlier than the recommended date. So it can be given at 17 days, but not at 16 days. Wow, okay. That's a question I did not know the answer to. Dr. Malcolm Marshall, thank you so much as always for giving us your time and your You're expertise. Welcome. Thank you. Lisa, over to you.